18 years ago, Merle Nadi stepped onto the world scene with the silver at the Pan American Games. Fifty minutes. And obviously at 37, still going strong. Merle Nadi down in lane two, moving right to the lead in this opening round heat, and now just coasting to the line. Merle Nadi winning her heat unofficially in 11.27. So it's interesting, Tom, last year when I talked to Merlene, she was talking about retiring, starting a family, all those different things. When she got to the Grand Prix Final, she ran an all-time best, 10.74, and she said, whoop, I still got it. I'm going to go another year, and here she is again. Looks very smooth all the way through, just easily and comfortably advancing to the quarterfinals. That experience definitely paying off. Take a look at relaxation, everyone. This is how you should be doing it. The ageless legs of 37-year-old Merlene Adi of Jamaica. She advances, moving toward that expected showdown with the next youthful phenom to challenge her, America's Marion Jones. She is just 21 years old. A youthful innocence about her. Perhaps it's the belief that nothing is impossible. But expectations are great for Marion Jones. Her victory at this summer's U.S. Nationals makes her one of the favorites here in the hundreds. But Marion Jones isn't so sure about that. I doubt that I'll be the favorite, and that's fine with me. I'd rather go in there, you know, the, the young national champion who's inexperienced and who's just getting her feet wet. And this will be her first major international meet, so don't expect too much from her. I'd, I mean, I'd love for them to, to say that. Ready or not, Marion, the world is waiting. Attempting that same triple Big Bro Carl did at his first world championship. Hopefully she'll be as successful. But she doesn't want to be a favorite. It doesn't happen. You run that fast, the media's always looking for new stars. And I don't know if it's symbolic or not, but she's all by herself out there in the middle of the track. And look how easily she just outclasses the rest of the field here. Well, Marion is definitely one of the top sprinters in the world right now she has four times under 11 seconds this year more than any other athlete she's running with a lot of confidence but the thing is she has to remember track people have long memories they do remember her as a junior they do remember her competing in the 1992 olympic trials she has always been quite a talent and we're happy to welcome her back to track and field she is running with a lot of confidence easily making it through to the quarterfinal you'll notice she runs not like the typical woman, her, her arms don't cross her body. That helps her get a lot more power with each step. But she is very relaxed. You see, she's concentrating. And again, as Michael mentioned, she does not run like a typical woman, rocking her body back and forth. She's keeping all of her power going straight down the track, and that is only going to help her. But she does know how to run relaxed. A lot of things you can't get out of a book especially in these sprints. And Inger Miller uh, turning it on right away. Inger Miller uh, still running hard all the way through the finish line here. Well, you know, each sprinter brings something different to a qualifying round. Some sprinters like to win all their heat. Some sprinters don't mind losing some of their first round heats, but obviously Inger Miller was out there. She meant business. She ran from start to finish, whereas some of the other athletes we've seen earlier did not run all the way through the tape. But obviously she knows what she's doing. And judging by that smile, she was happy with her performance. This is a prime example of why not to watch your other competitors during the early rounds because you're constantly trying to figure out what she's going all the way. And so here are the key qualifiers in the first round of the women's 100 meters. Qualifiers led by Audie, Jones, and Miller. No surprises so far. We'll be seeing second round action 